checks like Nike, let me give you a good night kiss. One team's trash is another team's treasure. What's up YouTube, it's Check Like Nike back with another NBA Reactions video. Today I'm bringing you something a little different than I've done before. Chris Dunn of the Chicago Bulls is starting to look like a player that could help carry this young and struggling team. If you've been here before, you know Levine has always been my favorite player, and if you're new to my channel, well, you'll learn that pretty quickly. So, I've been very familiar with Dunn since he was drafted, being that he was on the Timberwolves. But, on the Timberwolves, he never seemed to really make a difference. A few good dimes and a few knockdown shots was all he seemed capable of on a good night. After being traded to Chicago, Dunn broke out of the show and showed the NBA fans what he could do in a Bulls jersey. Although they are currently on a three game losing streak, I won't let that take my focus off of the point guard on the rise. He didn't get to do much for the most recent game against Toronto in his less than usual 28 minutes, but let's rewind a little and look at the previous five games before then. Dunn put up 22 points in their four point loss against the Trailblazers in Portland. He scored the team high for going 9 for 10 from the field, making all of his free throws as well. The night prior to that, he scored 19 points against the Wizards on the road in another four point loss. Before his short-lived injury, he also scored 17 against the Knicks, picking up the second dub in their three-win streak. He was the team leader in points that night, and the team leader in assists the night before when he dished out 12 dimes to help his team overcome Gianni Santokupo and the Milwaukee Bucks. However, it doesn't end there. Well, actually you can say that it does end there, because Dunn was the assist leader for the Bulls five games in a row, including their win over Milwaukee being the last in that five-game streak. In fact, he's been the team leader for assists 20 times so far this season out of only 36 games. That's an impressive 55% of the games played, disregarding the fact that he's missed a few games on injury. So out of the 33 games that he's played this season, that would boost the percentage to a nearly 61 of games played where he was the leader for assists. Through all of his assist leadership, he's also led his team in most points four times this season, putting him at a current average of 13.3 points per game and an even 6 assists per game. Compare this to last year when he scored a mere 3.8 points per game and 2.4 assists per game as a rookie. That being said, it should be mentioned that he only started 7 games of his 78 played last year and he's already started in 24 of his 33 for this season. Easy to see why his minutes are increasing to an average of 11 more minutes a game. Now, it's time to make my point. Stats are just numbers and there's more to the game than what appears on the stat sheet. The noticeable jump in numbers has even grabbed Dunn's attention and he attempted to explain the reasoning behind his better performances in Chicago versus his lesser abilities shown in Minnesota last season. Dunn tells officials at Slam that he was in a terrible situation last year as a rookie. That meaning that he was always the second option behind the fan favorite point guard Ricky Rubio. Now that Dunn is in Chicago and Rubio is far away in Utah, he has a different battle to fight. Dunn is now fighting for a starting guard with his teammate Jerry and Grant. Even though Dunn says, we're not really out here trying to battle each other, we're trying to provide for our team and get the most wins we can here. However, it'd be nice to do it as a start, it wouldn't. This season has been all good looks for Dunn so far, and he's really breaking away from the headlines that were calling him a bust and questioning whether or not they should give up on him. Now, he's working his way up to a possible candidate for Most Improved Player Award. Quickly going from a hyped up fifth pick to a 2016 bust last season, Dunn speaks out on what happened to him. He said that he was often just thrown into the game playing any position from the 1 to the 3, just trying to impress Minnesota's head coach Tom Thibodeau. Dunn looks back on that experience with frustration, blaming his desire to impress his coach under the unfamiliar pressure of professional ball as the reason he was a so-called bust. As for my personal opinion, I'm still holding on to the Wolves as my favorite team, so I've always ridden with Levine as my favorite player and parting ways from the Timberwolves opened my eyes to just another young team with great potential. The split that included Dunn Levine and rookie Laurie Markkinen seems to be working for the better in my opinion. My favorite player is coming off of his ACL injury soon and is the new face of a famous franchise and I get to watch him continue this journey with a familiar face that I've grown to respect as well, Chris Dunn. He was an exciting pick after his four years in Providence and I learned to admire him as a player. Now I get to see marketing work as well and see that he too is a good player. The 7 foot rookie is averaging 15 points a game and 7.6 rebounds. The team is looking like a young competitor and the speed of their gameplay will soon change upon the Bean's return. Let me know what your thoughts about this whole situation, Dunn and the young Chicago group are in the comments below. Do you think Dunn is erasing his prior stigma as a bust? And how do you think this team will play upon Levine's return and what their future will look like? I'll definitely touch base on this topic again as the Bulls are continuing to surprise the league and its fans. 
As always, leave a like and a comment below and subscribe for more NBA reactions and edits. Thank you for watching. Nike out.